Recently at a client's office, I was asked how they could compare this year numbers to last year numbers. And the answer was easy. It was with the use of budgets. A budget can be used for something other than what you project or hope to achieve. A budget can be used as any numbers you want to compare to your actual numbers. And there already is an inquiry screen in the general ledger that compares this year to a budget. So let's see how we can make that happen. And we could do it very quickly and very simply. In the financial series, under cards, financial, we're going to select budgets. And our budget window will open. Now we know um, and we've seen in the past how you can create a budget using the Excel budget wizard, but we don't need to do that because we're just going to simply create a budget of last year numbers. So we'll click on new and we're going to use the Microsoft Dynamics GP. And we'll give it a budget name and I'm going to call it actual 2016. Actual 2016. And my budget year, oops, my budget year is 2017. So I want the budget called actual 2016 compared to my actual year of 2017. And rather than putting in an account number and dealing with an account by account, we're simply going to go down to methods and tell it how we want to create this budget. We're going to take an open year percent. Now, if I had closed out 2016 already, I would use a historical year percent. But in this lesson database, 2016 is open. And then I'll select the year that I want to create a percent of. Now I can make it a decrease or increase, but I don't want to do either. I want it to be actual, the actual numbers. So I'll leave the percent to zero and I'll click on calculate. And what's happening now is it's creating a budget for every general ledger account number that has that budget. So I'm going to save that and you can see my budget exists here now. I could open it up in Excel if I wanted to and look at the actual numbers that way. But instead, let's go to Inquiry and you'll see this Inquiry window, Budget versus Actual. And what I would do here is pull up an account number and in this case let's choose, I believe there's a Utilities we'll use training for administration and we'll select the budget we want to compare it to and whoop, wouldn't you know I pick one that has no activity whoop, there we go here's one it flew by me very quickly I can see my actual numbers for this year and taxes benefits payable this happens to be a balance sheet account number versus my budget last year and I can see the variance and the percent of that variance so for any GL account number I can compare the net or the period balance for my system sometimes you just have to think outside the box hope this helps